WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, Bowser Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 95 points at 35,446. Just kind of waiting for the Fed, but if you're looking at the chart, you didn't even know that the Fed was a, a, a major factor today uh, in the market. You would look at this and say, well, there's this H pattern, this dreaded H pattern in the daily chart. Uh, make it as simple as possible. It's at 35,452. Uh, it really has to move about 500 points to break out to the upside and say, going into the December close, I want to be closer to the all-time highs than, than towards uh, the most recent low. And simply put, at 35,000, if it takes that out between now and Friday or Monday, uh, as support, that's just going to be a negative. And you can go through each one of them in the, the pattern says right now that they're all arching over. They should continue down. But if the Fed just uh, alleviates some of the pressure, the selling pressure, you can get a little bit more of a bounce. And I think if the bounce curves, then you're looking at the H pattern becoming an M, like a rectangle, just going sideways for a rotational correction continuing. And that's what we're seeing. S&P is down 11 at 46.22. The QQQ, this is going to be really important because higher rates do impact the high, the tech stocks. And the QQQs are making the H pattern down to at 386. You, if the... Um, if there is a trade under 377, not even a close, but a trade in the QQQ in the next three days under 377, that's a big problem. Then the, then the, the, the sideways action is going to go from sideways to lower highs and lower lows. And you've got to be careful if there's a nice bounce going to 391. That's good. IWM, the Russell 2000 has just been hammered. Big day down. It's down almost three points at 211. It's taken out the left side low. This is the pattern you do not want to see. Gold is being, this is going to be very interesting. Are all the commodities going to weaken because of the Fed action? Look, gold is down. Six doesn't have a big rebound. Crude oil is down. Uh, it's down 53 cents in that H pattern, but it hasn't broken down. But it, it's weak. It hasn't been strong. If you're looking at the TLT, this is bonds. Uh, this is going to be the clue at 150.46. If if the TLT starts to trade above 152.30 in the next day or two, that means rates actually coming down, the real rates. And if you start to see it, the TLT break under 148 into the 147s, rates are going higher. That's going that that I think could scare the market. Very important session, but just watch the parameters. 120 points up or more after 3 p.m. is good. On the Dow, 120 or more down. It says, uh oh, be careful. This consolidation is going to continue. Keep it simple. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento and great programming all day. Check out my opening call as well. That's my day. Have a great day, Basil Chapman signing. Off.